G'day YouTube, I have a slightly different kind of tree today for you guys, it's a spruce, it's a very old spruce that I'm having lots of lots of issues with because I, such a big tree, quite a tall tree, whoops, lots of massive foliage out everywhere, it's quite a big piece of material, um, nice and healthy and green. But um, such an old piece of stock. Now, if I get in close, oh, it's getting a bit dark here. You can kind of see the nice old bark starting to form on this tree. I did attempt at one stage to try and use a couple of the branches and I got them to be wired up and twisted. But this is a big tree, big project. It's one of those project trees that I have no idea just yet. I had some sort of idea. I was going to use this branch somehow. I was going to wide it up. I'm going to try and find the, the front I had originally on this tree. But it's such a massive tree. I can't even get it in the picture. So it's pretty, pretty, big, pretty big. You can see that. I don't want to try. I don't want to remove any of the big trunks because I like them all. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's a. A thing that you shouldn't do in bonsai when you like something too much don't think of it like that don't think i like this branch so much i'm going to keep it i like this branch so much i want to keep it um let the tree i think tell you what it wants to look like but i think with this tree i want to do something unusual maybe have a multi-trunk tree multi-trunk multi-apexes i'm not sure let's um let's see how we go but it's a tough one and it's going to take me a few days to sort this one out um it's getting a bit dark now in Melbourne so I might have to redo this in, in the morning and see how we go again but um, looking underneath you can see there's a nice trunk that is actually got quite a bit of movement you can see that how many different directions it goes um, I did have an idea somewhere some at some time because you can see those branches wide up and that side is wide up and then this side hasn't been done so looks like I might be <laughs> have to look at what I had originally planned and and see what I can come up with. Another another nice tree to work on. A um, lot more, a lot more material, a lot more foliage. Very big tree. Do I want to keep it? Keep the tree quite big? I'm not sure. So maybe it's a tree that we just look at and see what we can come up with. All right. Enjoy. We'll catch you back soon. So I was looking at this tree very closely last night and this morning. Um, so I think I picked the front last time and you can see by this wire, the angle I was looking at. And so I've had to raise it. Now I was trying to do something unusual, I reckon. And I was looking at having um, three trunks or three apexes off this tree. I just thought a spruce high in the mountains, you know, I'm not sure. Either we do lots of dead wood with it, or we do um, like a nice healthy multi multi apex kind of trunk. So I thought, I think I had, my plan was this side, there was going to be a, a tree on this side. And then there was going to be the dominant apex up here. And then there was a tree back, smaller tree back here, pushing to the light. So it's very unusual, but I think I was trying to be creative with this tree rather than cutting off too much and creating a normal, uh, typical smaller size, maybe a little variety or something like that, which is still an option. But I think I was trying to play with that idea. So that's why that wire, that branch is wide there, and that's why I started to wire this one. And I think I was going to create a tree that side, so you can see that. You probably can see that clearly then work through the apex to make a apical dominant tree up here and then also try and incorporate that side one that back one there which is coming a bit too far at the back as you can see so i've been trying to twist it around and bring it around which i should be able to it's quite flexible and bring it around make a smaller apex a tree in there so something a bit unusual which i'm gonna have a crack at um if it doesn't work i'll just think of a new design but um that's the plans for this tree, I think. It should be interesting. Obviously the pot's totally wrong. Um, so, but it's good for now. I like to get that at the right angle. It's a bit hard to work on the tree at that angle. So it keeps tipping over. 
So I just have to tie it down when I, when I work on it. But yeah, something very, a project tree this is called. For me anyway, it doesn't happen in one go. It takes a while, it takes quite a few weekends to get through it all just because that's the only time I got to work on the trees. You know, a few hours each weekend um, to get it done. So this will be a work in progress and we'll see how we go. Um, should be interesting and see if my thoughts and ideas come through. Could not work at all and I'll just resort to something else. But um, yeah, it's a promising material. It's got some nice movement. I like this this angle, this movement. Yeah, it's, I've, got an, I've got an image in my head, so we'll see if we can get it to look like that. There's a couple of branches up here I'm going to have to take out. Probably see there's three, three in one spot. So I think the middle one, this guy's going to have to go. It's too strong and straight, so yeah, we're going to have to do something there. They're very flexible. It's extremely, I know you can't do it with one hand, but trust me, this tree is very flexible. I should be able to bend most things quite, quite easily with this spruce. So yeah, some nice interesting lines everywhere. But yeah, I think I think I ended up trying to be doing something unusual. Okay, so that's how we go. All right, so just a quick update. Um, it's a bit hard to see because it's starting to get dark again. So what I've decided to do is try and create three kind of apexes or three trees in the one tree. So you can see at the back here, I've just roughly wired some main wire on the main branches I need to do some fine wiring but you can see how there's a little tree that's peeking out the back I've tried to swing it around a bit more so you can see there's a little tree there that's going to peek out the back then I'm working on this side there's a tree it's a bit messy because you can't see three-dimensionally there's a tree there's a tree in here I'm trying to separate them so you can see there's a tree that's going to be in there that's, a, that's the medium kind of size tree. That's the small one, that's about a medium one. And then we're gonna finish at the top with another taller apex tree. So I'm trying to come up with something a little bit more unusual with this tree without having to chop off a huge amount of the tree and foliage. Looks a bit sneaky, a bit, a bit ratty, but it hasn't been fine wired. Just some main heavy weight gauge wires being put on to the main branches down this middle section. Anyway, it's getting a bit dark now, so I'll have to redo this next stages in another day. So there's been a bit more progress on the tree as I slowly get it done. So um, I've done this side. Whilst it doesn't look good in the camera, it's actually, I'll try and cover the rest of the tree and show you how this, there's a tree on this side that's been styled up. It's at different dimensions and different depths and three dimensional. So you can see that one there. So you can, I'm just trying to block out the rest so you can see there's a tree roughly styled there. And if you come across there, there's another tree hiding there that's peeking out. So it's a third, so it's a second tree. It's a smaller one. This one's a slightly bigger one. So that's their thought process around that I've been working on. Haven't done the top yet to, to make a third tree. So that's the idea I've come up with. Something a bit different, something a bit out there. Um, doesn't look that good in the camera, but it's been wired up. I'll try and cover sections of the tree so you can see um, what I'm talking about and see if it works. So let's see how we progress. So I tried to cover up with this sheet the top bit so you can see what I'm talking about with this part of the tree. So you can see the basic structure is there. You see some nice, if you come closer, you can see how the pads have been fanned out more. Um, give them allowing them more light. But you can see lots of wire, lots of twisting, lots of bending. So you can see what I'm talking about, that tree there on that side. That's one tree. That could be the future tree too. You could actually just have that as your, your tree and design the whole tree around that. That's a nice option. So now I'll just do the other side so you can see the other bit. Yeah, a bit hard to do this side. But it's the small tree that's struggling to peek out from its bigger brother and sister and trying to survive. Uh, close up, you can see the nice green shapes in the apex has to be developed. But yeah, you can hopefully see that tree there that's trying to peek out from around the back. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so I'm at a point where I'm looking at the apex now. What you can see is I chopped off the straight tall one in the middle. And there it is on the ground. This is the, that was the one that going straight. Now I have, I still have three in the same spot. It's not ideal, 
and I, it's not ideal. Um, but it is what it is at the moment. Now, I'm trying to contemplate where I'm going to create the apex. So, <clears throat> just to take you through my thought process, it takes me a while to think through this. So, we've got, still got this guy. Now, he was my original thinking to, to put it to the top. So, if I, I can get him wired up. So, you can see I can wire him up. Get him to go this way. And then wire some of these branches down and create an apex there. However, I don't think, I think it might end up too tall. You know, it could be ending up quite tall up here. <coughs> so if I do that, then I'm going to swing this guy into here, into the front bit over here and fill in this gap. Could block some of this, some of this tree here, which isn't too bad. It, it is a thought, I thought that was my original thought. And then we've got a very heavy, a very interesting back branch with two, two branches going forward. One thought is I use that, fill in the back over here, and I can bend this more in to make an apex in around here. <coughs> what that means then is I'll have to put this guy down, coming in, in, in around here, put that one towards the back, maybe even take off. Because we have this guy here filling in that space. I think that's the more interesting look. So this won't be the apex. This will be the branch coming coming into this spot here. Then I'll wire, the plan is to wire this heavy, or guy wire this heavy one from the back and create an apex in here. It actually creates a much shorter tree, which I think I'm liking. If I use this, it's going to be a bit too tall, I think. Um, but yeah, it's one idea, and I'm going to try and do that. Um, this will be my back. So I think it'll look okay. I think it's coming up okay. So that's the thought process you go through. It takes me you know, a while to think about it. It's not automatic. So, But you, know, you try and envision different things and what will look like, what will look the best in the long run. So I'm going to have a go at it now and see what comes up. Okay, so I've done a bit more work on this tree and I have decided to, I did guy wire this, so you can see the guy wire in there, I did guy wire that back branch and pretty much twisted almost all the way back over the top. I think in proportion wise it's going to be a bit better to have an apex in around here rather than any taller. I did guy wire this guy down and um, maybe looking at forming a pad here, so you can see that. So you can definitely see that tree there. The one at the back is kind of now hidden. So I'm still contemplating whether I'm gonna keep this branch or keep the back one here. I do think one of them is gonna go. Most likely it will be the, this back one. I did try and twist this around and put it into, replace this branch here in here. It just didn't look that convincing, but I'm still gonna leave myself open for that choice. Um, so I am now just gonna. I started to because I when I can't decide on something, I will still wire the tree out. Um, so you know, some people think that's a waste of time, but I actually don't don't know what I'm gonna do. So I can't make that decision till I wire the tree how I want it to look, and then I'll know which branch will go. I think one of them has to go, either this front one or this back one. Even though I can swing this back one into. Here, it just didn't look that right, so I'm a little biased towards taking that off, but I am going to just keep wiring and see how it is. I did eventually, so you can see I've wired, that was, that's, if that's the new apex, this was that other branch that I said will go into the back, and that's, I'll just fix that up a little bit more, wire it up, and that should fit nicely in there. So, yeah, see how we go for the next phase. Okay, so... Whilst there needs to be a lot more work done in cleaning up the wiring, you can probably see now how that apex has turned out. Um, it's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with bringing that from the back, guy wiring it, and then wiring up a little bit of an apex. It needs a lot more time to fill out still. You see some branching happening here. So I'm happy I used that back branch and pulled it around and brought it to make the new apex. I've wired that one to fill in the gap back there. Just needs to be cleaned up. Um, I haven't wired this guy yet down. Haven't wired him down. You can see it's a mess. 
Well, what I just want to show is pretty much with that apex and that branch there, we've got enough branching around the back to fill in that gap. That means this branch here needs to probably go. It doesn't need to be there. So I'm going to be cutting that off. But first, before I do that, I'm going to wire these guys out and place them just to show you the, how the tree is going to look. And then we'll do the cutting off that branch just to make sure. So, so my my way of work, my way of doing it is, I wouldn't have known to cut that off unless I wired the top. So you can see there's an apex here, there's an apex here, and you can't see that third apex in the back unless you move around a bit. But there's another tree in the back there, so we need to show that off. And that's why probably that branch at the back there has to go very very likely. Plus this three in the one spot, and you don't want to have that. So. Even though I've wired it, oh well, this, that's what happens. So we are cutting off. All right, so I'll finish wiring this branch off and then do some fine tuning and then we'll come back. Okay, so what I've done is I have finished wiring the tree as much as I can. I'll need to do some fine wiring eventually to get this looking the way I want it. But uh, it's a really interesting tree now I find. Obviously, in a video, it's very hard to see the dimensions, but the 3D effect. But um, I haven't removed that back branch. I was going to do it live on the video. But what you can probably make out is now there is uh, that medium-sized tree there. You have, you can see the, the back tree back there, an apex, and then I've done the main apex. So. You, there's the, one, there's the main one, second and third at the back. There is, it looks messy at the top because of this branch. So this long branch here, I had it wide and now it's a matter of getting rid of it and hopefully showing that up. Because I had, I have to actually leave some wire on there because I anchored, anchored this, or is it, this branch here to that branch when I first wired. I didn't, I didn't know I was going to take that off. Um, so I'm going to have to leave a bit of stub there so it can keep the keep that um, this branch secure and wide. So I'll be cutting it off there, letting that die back anyway. It's no big deal, it's at the back so you won't see it. So eventually it will die. So there you go, this guy's going to be gone. So pretty much after this tree's finished styling, I've only pretty much removed two big branches. I pretty much wired everything else. I have left a few smaller branches, or I've taken off a few smaller branches. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking for my concave cutters, which I'm sure I'll find somewhere. Apologies. So come in here and let's say goodbye. Let's say goodbye, make sure I'm not cutting the wire. There we go, and that's gone. And that's all that's left. So this is a good angle from the side. As the rain starts to fall on me, that side angle of the tree, you can see this is the depth of the back tree, that little small tree, it's quite towards the back. Then you've got the main tree up here, and you've got the third tree back there. So possibly this guy needs to come around, this guy needs to come around more eventually. Possibly that's one way. Let's see what it looks like after I've cut that off. Probably more space now, you can see. And you can see that little tree picking out from the side. I think I've just got it off center one. It's probably around there. That looks like the front. So, something a bit different today. Um, well, not today. This has taken me quite a few hours over a number of days to get it to this point. Probably looks messy in the camera, but um, in real person it looks quite interesting and very different and quite unique. Um, you know, three three apex tree, different different levels. You got the shortest one at the back. You got the medium one to the left, and the main tree at the top in the middle. But I, I think this angle also exposes the trunk movements really nice from this angle. Um, it's really interesting. So yeah, I'm hoping change the pot on it. Um, it wouldn't be a repot, it would just be slip potting. So slip potting into another pot at the, this angle, so it can be 
okay and going good. Um, as I said, I need to do some more, a lot more work on refinement, um, lots more wiring up, uh, and getting things in the right spot. Um, just fine wire some areas. You know, once you, once all the big work was done, I probably have to go, go back and tweak some areas and get them looking good. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with this tree. Um, very different. You know, this is pretty much, you know, good bonsai stock. I'd say hasn't really been worked on at all. Um, and you know transforming it over a number of days for myself and quite a few hours of work to get it to something a bit more unique not just the normal um, bonsai and same same this I don't think I've seen too many three trunk trees like this with a bit more variety so something interesting and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and something a bit different so I hope you um, like this video Stay tuned for more videos. Um, just remember to subscribe so that you can get updates and notifications of my new videos when I put them up. Enjoy. Thank you.